Hello Brains, we did it! There's a book! This channel, this community, we are in a book that's gonna be in bookstores. You're gonna be able to go to the airport and like see it on your way to catch a plane or to be late for a plane. You will see this book, How to ADHD, An Insider's Guide to Working with Your Brain, Not Against It. There's reasons why I wrote this book, but the reason I was even allowed to write this book, the reason I was given a book deal, is because of this community, because of your support, because you comment, because you subscribe, because you are interested in what I have to share, in what I have to teach. So I wanted to talk about why I wrote the book and then show you what it looks like. I wrote the book for the same reason that I started the YouTube channel. I wanted to be able to put everything that I learned about ADHD in one place where I could actually find it again. For a long time, that was YouTube. I would lose notebooks if I tried like writing all this out, if you tried printing these articles and highlighting them and keeping them in a binder, I would lose all that. Years later, I've created so many videos that it is again hard for me to find what I'm looking for. But basically like, YouTube is now, it's not one place. There's a ton of playlists, there's a ton of videos, there's the information can still be scattered, even on my own channel, can be scattered in a bunch of different places. So I thought it would be cool to put everything that I learned about ADHD into one place, a book that you could easily flip around, reference exactly what you need, and not just what I learned from the research, from ADHD experts, but also what I learned from this community and what I learned along my own journey about how to be in the world as somebody with ADHD. So not even just how my brain works, but like how I want it to work and kind of different takes on some of this stuff that I didn't see in the research, but I did hear from my communities. For me, it's really nice to have this reference, to have this resource that is everything important that I've learned about ADHD over the last seven years. But more than that, I wanted to be able to give people in one book the experience that, that I had learning about my ADHD, going from having no idea what it was or, or what it meant, like thinking I knew, right? Because society's like, oh yeah, ADHD, we know what that is. No, we don't, we don't understand it at all. So going from like this kind of simplistic or, or misunderstanding of ADHD and this internalized ableism of like, I'm wrong for not being able to do this, I should be able to do this, and like blaming myself for all these invisible obstacles I kept tripping over, to learning how to recognize those invisible obstacles, knowing what they were called, being able to recognize them, learn how to navigate them, and then realize like, also there's only so much of this we can do ourselves. We need to live in an environment that is a little bit more accessible to us too. So taking this journey over the last seven years to like learning how to really work with my brain, not against it, and let go of a lot of the shame, the misunderstanding, the stigma, all of this stuff that I had accumulated, and be able to be functional as a human, like be able to go and live a life in line with my values, one that I enjoy, and be able to be effective in the world. Like I understand the challenges that I'm running into when I run into them now and I have options for dealing with them. And I am so empowered now. I was so disempowered when I started and I was failing at life and I didn't understand why and all I knew how to do was try harder. And now I have these options and I wanted to give that whole experience to other people. That and, and this sense of connection, this sense of community, this sense of, belonging that I found, this sense of acceptance, that, that it's okay to be who you are in the world, it's okay to be how you are in the world, it's okay that your brain works like this. I know that some people in my community have expressed that they, that they have gotten that from watching my TEDx talk and binge watching my channel and reading through the comments and connecting with other people in this community or on our Discord. We have a Discord through Patreon for um, those who support us and the connection that people have found there and the support they found there and the new ideas and strategies and different perspectives and stuff. I wanted to somehow put all of that in a book. So it was this really, really ridiculous project that I set out on going, wouldn't it be amazing, right? Like, wouldn't it be amazing if, if in one book I could have everything important I've learned about ADHD and tips and, and solidarity from the community and, you know, a reminder of what it used to be like before I understood all this stuff and the struggles that I faced then and what it was like then, but also like an anecdote and like some, you know, some thoughts about the future, like how, like where are we going to? And an editor at Penguin Random House said, yeah, that sounds great. And when I was like, cool, do you want to send me some comps? Do you want to send me some books that are like comparable to this so that I can like make sure we're on the same page with what kind of book I'm writing? I was kind of phrasing it like, I want to make sure I don't disappoint you. Like if you have an idea of what this is going to be. But secretly it was like, I have no idea how to do this. I have no idea what the finished product would look like. 
no clue. Can you show me so that like I can see how I might get there? And she's like, no, you seem to have a handle on it. And I was like, okay, glad you believe in me. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how to pull this off. And so I spent a long time, like obsessive days thinking about like, how am I gonna pull this off? Because now I have a deal, right? I have a book deal for a book that sounds amazing. Like I would buy it, but I have no idea how to write it. I've never written a book, period. But this is not just a how-to. This is not just a memoir. It's a how-to and a memoir, but not even that. It's also gonna have quotes from the community because I think that's really important. That's such a part of the experience of How To ADHD is getting to read comments from the community. And so I get to do something really exciting now, which is show you what my book looks like. It isn't an idea, it isn't a, an aspiration, it isn't a project that I was gonna maybe abandon halfway through. It's an actual book and it's sitting on my bookshelf right now and I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> Ready? It's real! This is what my, this is, yes, if you, if you buy my book, which you can right now, you can actually pre-order it everywhere books are sold, there will be a cover and it will tell you when it's gonna be here. My published date is January 2nd, 2024. This is actually going to be in print. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's actually what's called a dummy copy of a book, which is it's, it's the exact same size um, and thickness of my book. They asked me for 60,000 words and I turned in 110,000. I did cut a bunch, so it's not 110,000 words anymore, but it's not a small book and it's not a small book for a reason. There's a lot of information packed into this book and a lot of hope and inspiration and things that'll make you smile, things that'll make you laugh, things that might make you cry. But more importantly, like you don't actually have to read it, <laughs> at least not straight through. I designed it so you can flip right to the chapter that interests you. They're all how-to chapters, so how to sleep, how to motivate your brain, how to feel. Uh, if you wanna work on feelings, how to heart if you care about somebody with ADHD and wanna know how to support them better. So you can flip right to the chapter that is most relevant to you. The fact that I finished a book at all is like still surprising to me because it was such a long project. I had to use all of the strategies that I've ever used ever. There were times where I actually had to read parts of the book to get me through the writing of the book. It was a very, very difficult task. So I'm amazed that it got done at all, but I'm really proud to say that it not only accomplished what I set out to accomplish, but then some. It's not just everything that I learned over the last seven years having ADHD. It also fills in some gaps of knowledge that I didn't even realize that I had. So as I wrote the book, I had a neurotypical editor and she would ask me questions or she would try and edit something in a way that it made sense to her. And I was like, no, 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 that's not, that's not the experience though. That's not what I'm talking about. And so I would have to get really specific about what I meant so that she could understand it and be able to edit it. Cause there's so many things. I didn't realize how many shortcuts I took on this channel of like, yeah, people with ADHD are gonna get it. Like I can say this and because you have ADHD too, like you understand kind of intuitively what I mean. And because my editor did not have ADHD, it didn't intuitively make sense to her. So I had to explain it a little bit more in depth, which sometimes meant I had to go back to the research and really understand things on a deeper level. I'm hoping that there's enough interest that it starts to get picked up and translated into different languages and helps other people too. It is already being translated into Portuguese. It will be available in Brazil and it will be available in the UK, although that will come out in February instead of January. But it, it is still available like worldwide. You can buy it um, worldwide. It's just, it won't have a local publisher. Thank you so much for everybody who made writing this book possible. Again, that's everybody in this community. If you are watching this video, you are part of why I was able to get a book deal. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to my brain advocates and all my Patreon brains for providing me the financial support that I needed to be able to really focus on this. I was able to make this a priority because of the stable income that I have because I know that you have that monthly donation. I can count on it, it's a paycheck. So I was able to focus on writing this book and not just writing this book, but also paying the support that I needed to be able to get it done. Because like I said, this is a really ambitious project. I did not do it alone. Dr. Patrick LeCount helped me with research. I had a writing buddy, Teresa Weiler. She's amazing and now available uh, if, you need, if you need a writing buddy yourself. 
And she is a lot of who was able to pull in the quotes and help with things like that, help with punching up and polishing. That's it for this video. I will be reminding people to buy the book as we get closer to the date, but you can pre-order this book now. We also have a link in the description below um, that'll take you to our sales page on the website, hopefully if that's done in time. Other than that, yeah, that's, that's it. The sponsor for this video is the book and the Patreon brains that help make it possible. And this community. Like, subscribe, click all the things, and I will see you next video. Hi, Beans.